back with another video. Excuse my eyes, they look a bit red. I've been swimming with my daughter in our, in our outdoor pool that we've got. Well, it's a pool, paddling pool, but uh, it's a 13 foot by seven foot and a meter deep. Good fun on hot days like today where the wet temperature is 22.5 here in Northern Ireland. Right, the reason we're here today um, is coding cruise control to go with my steering wheel. So a year ago, I installed this steering wheel, multifunction, came with the cruise control stalk. When I installed the steering wheel, didn't need coding, worked straight away. The cruise control didn't work. So if I show you here, if I flick this to on, nothing happens on the screen. It doesn't work. Um, First of all, I'd like to thank the people that have supported the channel and donated um, some money for me helping them out here and there. I'll put a link in the description of this video if anybody else wishes to uh, contribute towards the channel. Um, right, so the money that people gave to me, I went out and brought an OBD-11 Where's the box? OBD11 um, reader, Bluetooth reader. Um, never used OBD11 before. Um, now, obviously I've got that, and then with OBD11 it's subscription, but same as Corista, it's subscription. I don't pay subscriptions, so I went on to good old faithful uh, Margiolo. And uh, if you are going to use Mod YOLO for installing, and uh, just OBD11 search, if you are going to use Mod YOLO, do it through Google, um, through Chrome, because it won't download if you just do it off your Google search bar. But there it is there. Um, same procedure as with... Uh, Carista, tap on it, then you get an advert come up. Uh, where is it? Well, like I say, it's the same as it was with Carista. It's here somewhere. Yeah, you just go and download. Gives you a list. You go for the top one. Um, so if you look here, Pro unlocked. Everything is unlocked on it. So you can do all your long coding and everything's all for free. You don't have to pay for any of it. Um, so yeah, this is the newest one. 0 0.56.0. And uh, that's what I've used. So we can turn that off. Right, so I have down here on my iPad. Not my iPad, what am I on about? Samsung tablet. Um, I've already got the app open so i was quite i've never really used i've never used um obd11 before took me a while to get it connected to the car when i first plugged it in it was one in when i did a scan it was wanting to scan 233 modules my car hasn't got 233 modules and i realized what the problem was i'll show you on get this other one out of the box this is my old the one that I use for Carista. These pins in the back, um, I had to bend them on the. Um, I had to bend them on this as well when I first started using it because it wouldn't connect because they weren't making contact. So I had to bend those, and then obviously it just goes up in your OBD port. And uh, anyway, anyway, back back to the matter in hand. Right. So, how do you code cruise control? Well. With mine, it's all second hand. So this all came as one lot. So it's been used for cruise control before. That's why the multifunction steering wheel didn't need coding. So all you have to do to code, you know, so you see people using BCDS and it's like, oh, bit this, bite that, change this, change that, change that. 
OBD11 is so easy to use. I couldn't believe how easy it was to use. So first things first, the screen's gone. You click down here in this corner and it brings you up a list. These are all your modules in the car. Um, if you've got a red dot, you've got a problem, a fault with that. My air conditioning, the gas has run out. It's, I've never had gas in this car. So the first thing you do is you go into steering column. Let that load up. It does take a moment to load. Right, so this is my st steering module that I've now got. K, uh, 5K09-535-49B. B. See, I know that it's compatible with um, cruise control because it all came together as a job lot. And you come down to long coding. Tap that. This one at the top, number 16, active. You want that on active, so... You just tap it, although this, for some reason on the steering column, it's in German. You want to make sure that that is on active, and then you just tap OK. Um, then you go out of this page, and then you go back to engine. So there's a lot of shadow bouncing off of this. It's a bit sunny. So that's just loading up the, oh, no, it's not. Right, engine. I hope you can see this on the screen because it's, it's very hard with the reflections. Right, so that's now, in, that's now in there. So if we now go on to long coding on here, click OK there. Um, then you've got these numbers across the top. Now what you need to do is tap the number 5, that's highlighted. You come down here, it says cruise control, not installed. Come across this side. You tap that, that changes to installed. And you come down the bottom. So I see where my finger's going. And you just tap and hold. Coding accepted. Then, if we go back up here, and I flick this to on, there it is. It's as simple as that. So that's now on. And then to use these controls, you know, best angle to get in here. Obviously, you're driving along, constant speed. You tap this top one, and it sets it at whatever speed you're doing. As soon as you touch the brake or the clutch, it will switch the... Um, it will switch the cruise control off. You will also, when you're driving, you get a green light up here. I will put in a snippet at the end of this video to show you that it is working. So if you're driving along and you want to speed up, you can just tap this and your speed will go up. You'll see it in my video that I've already recorded. And then this one will slow you down or you just flick that to off and it goes off on the screen. Just turn this ignition off now. So I was I was quite impressed with OBD11. Like I said, I'd never used it before. Um, fortunately, I didn't pay for the uh, full subscription that you have to pay for. The package that I've got there is the ultimate package. Everything's open on it. Everything's free free to use. Um, what I might do is if you guys can get me to a 1,000 subscribers, where are we now? July, August, September, by Halloween, October the 31st, I will do a giveaway of this OBD. You just unplug it. <coughs> I'm going to do a giveaway. If, you get, if I'm at a 1,000 subscribers by Halloween, I will send this OBD11 plus the link to the free software to one of my subscribers, but you've got to be in the UK. Yeah, I'll, mm, no, no, I'll send it, I'll send it globally if you can get me to a 1,000 subscribers by Halloween, 31st of October. It is now the 8th of July, August, September, October. I'm on 
760 so i only need 300 more subscribers and somebody could be winning this um so i hope you enjoy my videos if you want more information on this coding i don't know much about it but i can try and help out um like the videos subscribe and uh pass on to your friends and yeah we'll do a giveaway a uh, thousand subscribers but only if I've got a thousand subscribers by Halloween. Have a good evening. Stay safe. And I'll see you all in the next one.